Good evening. The tale you are about to hear is no less remarkable for being true. In 1998, a moose was able to survive a two-year journey walking from the Adirondacks in the United States to Algonquin Park in Canada. This feat would be remarkable for the rugged terrain and vast distances alone. But this is becoming a no-go zone for four-legged creatures. Speeding cars promise death at every turn. Vast open areas have no food or shelter. And always looking over your shoulder for people trying to kill you with their guns. And yet this moose lived to tell the tale. I am that moose. Follow me as I retrace my steps and help to build a cycle route from Algonquin Park to the border of the United States. So this is where it all begins, Algonquin Visitor Center. From here, we'll travel along Highway 60 to the town of Whitney and the start of the Booth Rail Trail. Riding fast and riding slow Riding with nowhere to go On my bicycle, 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 bicycle. Up the slope and down the hill With the hair in the wind is such a thrill On my bicycle, 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 bicycle We're now entering the Booth Rail Trail. Okay, still a little rough. So the Booth Rail Trail isn't going so well. The sand is too soft when the puddles aren't too big. It was much nicer the last time when I walked it. We're heading back to Highway 60. Bicycle, 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 I'm liking this. Now this is luxury. Fourth shoot road. Calm, relaxed, and smooth. Just like yours truly. The start of the K&P Trail. Do up your seatbelts, we're trying another trail. Wait, um, really? That's it? We can handle this. Still on the K&P trail. This is a trail a cycling moose could enjoy. Off 
of the trail and back on the road, headed for Snow Road Station. There's a lot of nice roads through here. Highway 7 successfully and we're soon back on nice quiet roads for many miles. But our journey is coming near its end. What a good trip! It brought back a lot of memories from when I first walked it what seems like a lifetime ago. Now let's get to the border! The Thousand Islands Bikeway now that's cycling infrastructure. What a great way to end a trip on a nice bike path along the St. Lawrence River. We're at the bridge. The weather's turned, but we made it. Remember, we really need a wildlife corridor between Algonquin Park and the Adirondacks. This moose, however, is not going to try and cross the border again. You know how those American border guards are. They see a talking moose crossing from Canada and they assume she's high. <laughs> <laughs> 